for years, we've been told by the power companies to use CFLs, or compact fluorescent lamps. And now we're being told that there's mercury inside of these things. And yes, there is a trace amount of mercury in CFLs. But according to Energy Star, it's not a huge concern, as long as you deal with them properly. When you are screwing in or unscrewing a CFL, try to hold it at the base if possible to prevent breaking it. When disposing of the bulb, be sure and put it in a Ziploc bag, seal it, and just throw it away. If a CFL does break, simply pick up the base and the large pieces of glass and put them in a Ziploc bag. Then you're going to want to vacuum up all the small pieces of glass along with the white powder. After that, a damp paper towel wiping it up, put it into the Ziploc bag, seal it, and throw it away. If it does happen to break on the carpet, simply vacuum it up thoroughly and throw the vacuum bag away. Now obviously these CFLs save a ton of money and they last about 10 times longer than a regular bulb. But in the past they've looked like these. People have been hesitant to use these in fixtures other than lamps with shades. But now they've got them that looked a little bit more like light bulbs. This one looks exactly like a floodlight and this one you can actually start using in your chandeliers. I'm Don Zaman with News from the Homefront. Grab your CFLs. You can do this stuff.